Today we'll be changing the spark plugs on my 986 Boxster. Got the new spark plugs right up here, some NGKs. Looks like the process is very easy. So far we just took, up, took off the wheel. Then you take off this fender liner here, these two bolts up there, and you'll be able to get access to the spark plugs. Of course, we'll have to go and do this on the other side. We'll have to remove the other wheel the other fender liner to get access to the three spark plugs on the other side. We can start taking off the coils. So we're going to disconnect the wire connection to each one of the coils and then start taking off all of the bolts holding the coils down. To disconnect the wires on the coils, you pull up this rubber cover here, pull that up out of the way and there's a clip. You press on that clip should hear a click, just like that. And then you wiggle the coil, uh, the plug out of the way. Then you take a E10 socket here and loosen each one of these bolts on the coils. For this top coil here, or the one that's farthest away from the wheel, leave this bottom bolt tight to allow a little bit more access to this top one. This hose is right in the way of this top bolt. So it's tough to get to, it's tough to get a socket on. I used a ratcheting wrench to get up there and I left this one tight to give me a little bit more room around here for the ratcheting wrench. To get these coils out, grab around the coil and give it a little wiggle back and forth as you pull out. It'll help it release and get the coil out. On this last coil, there's this plastic holder right here, and it looks like it could be in the way. Mine was loose, so that's telling me that maybe the spark plugs were replaced in the past. I took this bolt out that goes right here, so I can move this to the side and pull this coil out. Then we take a 5 ace or 16 millimeter socket. This one's pretty close and loosen these spark plugs. Now I switched from the 5 eighths to a 16 millimeter because my 5 eighths socket was too thick. It was actually rubbing on the sides of the spark plug tube. So the 16 is a little bit thinner and it fits enough to be able to turn the spark plug and get it out. Here's a look at the old spark plugs versus the new spark plugs. So you can see they're not too bad. They're not coated in oil like I expected and the coils weren't coated in oil as well. So that's a good sign that the spark plug tubes aren't leaking. Now, when I had that thicker socket in there, the 5 ace, it was turning and rubbing on that spark plug tube. So hopefully I didn't damage the seal on it at all, uh, but we'll see. Okay, we can now put the new spark plugs in. When we put the new spark plugs in, we're going to torque them down to 30 newton meters have all these spark plugs torqued down to 30 newton meters. For this last one, I had to use a wobble extension to be able to get the right angle in there and get the torque wrench on it. The wobble extension actually helped for all of these as they're close to this body uh, panel here. Now we can throw the coils back in, the screw on that plastic component back in, and then plug all of the coils coil wires back into the coils. Don't know the torque spec for the coil screws, but I would say just tight is good enough. Just get these nice and snug. Now you can put all of the coil wires back on. When you're putting the coil wires back on, make sure the rubber cover is out of the way. Push the wire back in, you'll hear a nice click, and then you can move the rubber cover back down. We're all done on this side, so we'll put that cover back on and then the wheel back on and move on to the other side. Over on the passenger side now, looks like a very similar story over here. Got your three coils. This plastic component and wire does look to be in front of the coil. So we'll have to take that bolt off. But same as the other side, we'll pull the rubber covers up, click off the connection, then take out the two bolts for each of the coils. I have the spark plugs pulled out from the passenger side. When taking them out, 
Notice I do have a little bit of oil underneath this washer here on each spark plug. You can see that. So oil was getting into these cylinders, probably more than normal uh, from the intake. On the driver's side, I can see the same oil underneath this O-ring. So I think that air oil separator was causing a good amount of oil to get into the cylinders and was likely impacting ignition. Home stretch now. We'll put the new spark plugs in on the passenger side, torque them down, put the coils back on, the coil bolts, these guys, put the wires back on the coils, and of course the one bolt holding the O2 sensor wire back on, then the wheel. And then we'll go around, put the car back on the ground, we'll go around and torque all the wheels down to spec. Car's back together, wheels are torqued down, started it up, no misfires, it's running pretty good. So I'm going to take it for a quick drive, see how it does. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.